Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. This is Prophet Okumbo Abraham Kenneth. Another beautiful day to be alive and to be a witness to the kingdom of God. May his name alone be praised. Hallelujah. I want to speak to somebody today about the value of time, the value of your gift, and why you need to make hay, why sunshine. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for another time, another season. May your name alone be praised. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. It may take a while for you to be discovered it may take a while, but don't lose the value of your purpose and the value of your gift and the value of what God wants to do with you in these last days. If a man has a gift and the man does not know what to do with his gift, somebody will hijack you and hijack your gift and use it to enhance their own kingdom. Whether it's the kingdom of God or it's the kingdom of darkness. But I want you to understand that if you have been called by God, chosen by God, anointed by the Lord, you carry something that nobody elsewhere has. And until God brings you forth, and until God also delivers you from the powers and the snares of men, you may never get to your destination. Now the season has come for you to be known. For you to be known known by god known by the earth known by the pastors and the prophets of the land known by your family your giftings the bible say that the gifts and the calling of god are without repentance but your giftings were given to you for a specific reason there are powers and demons that your family has dealt with that god is entrusting powers in your hands to deal with you are the one to deal with the spirit of poverty. You are the one to deal with the spirit of bullies. You are going to deal with craftiness. You are going to deal with witchcraft. You are going to be dealing with every type of manipulation that ever encountered your family. You are going to deal with everything. You will deal with it. God puts you in charge for giving you that type of gift. Don't worry about your naysayers. He told me today, Kenneth, don't worry about your naysayers. If people don't believe you, don't trust you, don't worry about them. That is their problem, not your problem. So whatever it is that God has bestowed upon your life, the gifting. I am an apostle, a prophet, and a teacher. I recognize that. I see it in the apostolic office. I see it in the prophetic office by the grace of God. And I see it in the teaching office. Mm. I recognize that. And everything that is trying to talk me out of it, they are just wasting their time. They're wasting their time. That's why I live my life the way I live my life. Now that we know by the grace of God that we have been chosen, we have been called, we have been elected by God, no power from hell will stop us from fulfilling our destiny. I also want to use this opportunity to thank America. The opportunity to live in this country, even though I am not yet where I want to be in life, yet I give God the praise. Hallelujah. So I want to pray for somebody who has a gift as God starts to bring us out again that the nations of the earth may see us, that they may know what God has placed in our hearts and the blessings that we want to be a blessing to our generation. We came to bless and not to curse and not to destroy. So, Lord, we have come to bless this generation. Open the ears of our fathers in the land, the ears of our mothers in the land, and grant us grace and mercy and favor that we may possess our possessions in the name of Jesus. And if there be areas that we need to improve as we journey, open our eyes to see it, Lord. For we give ourselves unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, church. God bless you. God bless the church of Jesus Christ. God bless every member of the church out there, young and old. Whatever it is that the devil has accused you of, I abolish it. I bind it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that you shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. As your season is about to change, I see promotion coming. Go and prosper. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen.